ask yourself the question, what if? Streaming August 11th, only on Disney+. Plus. What's going on, everyone? It's Sam. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking all about what ifs as it comes out on August 11th. I'll be going over all of the rumors and confirmed leaks for the nine episode season of What If, as well as some of the key details and the overall plot for season one. If you like Marvel, the MCU comics, and everything in between, subscribe to the channel. But other than that, let's get into the video. Let's go. The writer for the show, AC Bradley, confirmed that the show is officially canon in the MCU and we've finally received confirmation that What If will have 9 episodes in Season 1. Now it was originally supposed to have 10, but with COVID, it looks like the final episode was just pushed back a bit into Season 2, which I assume is coming out next year. But why you really clicked on this video is to find out what the episodes are really going to be about. Now the first episode has been confirmed as Captain Carter, a variant of Peggy Carter who receives the Super Soldier Serum instead of Steve Rogers. He'll be in the Hydra Stomper, a giant Iron Man suit created by Howard Stark. Now episode 2 is all about T'Challa. What if T'Challa was taken by Yondu and became Star-Lord, which is one of the main episodes we've seen from promo, and this will be Chadwick's last performance as T'Challa in the MCU, but he's actually supposed to appear in 4 episodes out of the 9, so I'll discuss that in just a bit. Episode 3 is all about Loki on Earth. Now we really don't have any information about this or a whole lot of news. What we do know though is it's supposed to take place before the events of the New York battle. So who knows exactly what the episode will be about besides Loki doing what he does best messing with people. So these are the first three episodes that are officially confirmed and they run about 25 minutes each not including the credits. Aside from this we have learned a decent amount and what we can expect is an episode all about evil supreme Doctor Strange fighting the regular Doctor Strange. The interesting part about this episode is we've learned that there will be some crossovers into Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and that there will be three versions of Strange in that movie. One being called Supreme Strange and another being referred to as Defender Strange in the leaked Funko Pop set. Now it is possible that the normal Doctor Strange that we see in this What If episode is actually Benedict Cumberbatch's regular MCU character. Or it could just be some sort of variant, but with rumors of Captain Carter cameoing in Multiverse of Madness, this idea of Supreme Strange showing up actually seems kind of plausible and connected. Not to mention the villain Shumagorath is rumored for Doctor Strange 2, and that villain might have been seen in the second trailer of What If. Besides the first three, I'm not sure of the order, but the fifth concept of an episode of What If is supposed to be about Party Thor. The description reads as, instead of being banished to Earth, Thor will reportedly come to Midgard to throw a massive intergalactic party that could potentially bring the end of the world as we know it. And with another episode being all about zombies, could this be the end of the world event that this episode is referring to? Season 1 is said to have a huge zombie outbreak, and it's not entirely sure if it's just in one episode or not, but it could play a factor into later episodes or even a multiverse outbreak of zombies. We also have a confirmed Funko Pop of Zombie Hunter Spider-Man, so he will tie into that storyline as well along with the Winter Soldier vs Captain America scenes that we've seen. It almost seems like there's too much zombie stuff for it to all be held in a one 25 minute episode, so we'll find out soon though. We also know an episode will consist of Killmonger and Tony Stark. What if Killmonger saved Tony Stark from the bomb that caused him to get the shrapnel stuck near his heart? which forced him to become Iron Man. And so we know there's an episode with Iron Man and Sakaar as well, where he teams up with the Grandmaster and Korg. Jeff Goldblum came back to actually voice the Grandmaster and accidentally gave us this information in an interview last year. Aside from these confirmed about seven to eight episodes, we are expected to see Gamora in Thanos' armor at some point. And there were also rumors of Nick Fury being involved as we see him in the trailer. There's supposed to be a part where we see what happened during his big week, and if you don't know what his big week consisted of, fun fact, the events of Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, and Thor all happened within the same week of 2011. So a reference that would be pretty cool to see. Early on there was also rumors on what if Peter Parker became Hawkeye and what if Steve Rogers was zombie killer Spidey. But it looks like those were just mistakes in reporting after seeing some new footage, but it could still happen. As a whole though, just like the Infinity Saga, Season 1 is said to build up to a big event that will carry into further stories. Like I mentioned in my last What If video, click on the top right if you want to see it, but we will be seeing the Guardians of the Multiverse. A new take on the Avengers Assemble, and we are also going to be seeing what if Ultron successfully put himself into Vision's body and collected all of the Infinity Stones. It looks like Ultron could be the Thanos of the What If series, and I'm actually really excited for this. 
I always wanted Ultron to come back in the MCU at some point, and this is exactly what the What If series is about, to do and try new things, or just things that the Infinity Saga couldn't do. With the introduction of the multiverse, there's so many possibilities, and all this information is just what I was able to gather. I'm sure there'll be more surprises and events, but one thing is for sure, or what was at least claimed by the writer of the show, we won't see new characters being introduced, only variations of what we saw in the Infinity Saga. They're using live action to fully introduce new characters, apparently besides the rumored Shumagorath, so who knows. Anyway though, let me know what you think about this in the comments and are you excited for What If? It is our first animated MCU project, so I hope it lives up to the hype. You can follow me on Twitter at AnotherMarvelG for all news and updates. And if you like this video, drop a like and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Other than that, I just want to say thank you. I'm another Marvel guy, and I'll catch y'all in a blip.